A powerful setup is unfolding with big storms firing across Oklahoma, Texas today, and we're going to see more storms tonight, tomorrow, into the weekend too, with damaging winds, hail, even some tornadoes possible as this piece of energy swings to the east. Looking at the upper level pattern first, we've got a decent ridge across the south that's keeping temperatures warm here. We've been hot. Not everywhere has been warm so far this meteorological summer. Now we're what, in day five here on the 5th of June as this video is being recorded. Some areas to the north are cool and we're going to get even cooler as we head through the weekend as a second blast of, check it out, more cold weather. I'm going to call it cold for June. Yeah, sure. For June, it's it's not comparable to anything you see in the winter, but underneath this, it's going to be a little cold, a little damp, a little miserable at times. And some of you may be breathing a sigh of relief. Maybe you're not ready for all that summer heat just yet. Heavy rain possible across the southwest again today. That could lead to some more flash flooding through the evening hours into the overnight. And then we're going to see severe weather today. Now, the biggest threat's going to be right back here across parts of Texas, Oklahoma, even parts of Kansas, Colorado. Strong damaging winds, hail, and some tornadoes possible too. Multiple tornado watches have already been going out. And there's going to be severe weather stretching from Maine all the way back into the Plain States along our front as it drops off to the south. The highest tornado threat today, again, across Oklahoma, really western Oklahoma, northern Texas, even as far west, I think, as New Mexico and parts of Colorado. And then as we head into tomorrow, look how everything shifts to the south. We're looking again from Texas, Colorado, east now into Tennessee, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama. So that severe threat changing a little bit. And it's a little bit further to the south. And I think you watch out here in the northeast, too. Parts of southern New England could be in for some rough weather over the next couple of days and into Saturday. It is staying active across the south. This is just, uh, I mean, yeah, you, it's hard to time each individual storm, but the idea that there's going to be several days of severe weather, it's on the table. Let's start off across the southwest. This is where we're seeing the heavy rain today into Friday. Some of that rain starts to push to the east. I think overall you do start to dry out some here. We're dry across the Pacific Northwest. And uh, then we'll be dealing with just afternoon showers and storms. Let's move further to the east. This is where the severe threat is really increasing through the evening hours. Again, across Texas, a lot of wind shear here. With that, tornadoes possible. Again, some tornado watches already coming out from the Storm Prediction Center. Keep an eye on the weather. If you're in this region of the country today, tonight, into uh, even areas further east of uh, West Kansas and Oklahoma, as these storms move east into late tonight into early Friday morning, these may continue to pack a punch as they move across Kansas and Oklahoma through the early morning hours. Clearly, they'll be weaker than what they are, but now we're going to have this decaying complex of storms moving to the east. That energy is still going to be here, so now you look into this region for the second round of fire up heading into Friday afternoon, and there they go. The 3K NAM model picking up on that across northern Arkansas, southern parts of Missouri, Indiana, Illinois, and then moving into Kentucky and Tennessee as we get into the early to late evening hours, and then once we get into the overnight, these storms continue to fire here. Another busy day across Colorado, Texas, also Oklahoma another piece of energy pulling out of the Rockies. This may move in later in the night, so I guess if there's a glimmer of hope, it would be that it would be into the later evening hours, but a second complex of showers and storms look to blow through Oklahoma again, so it is just super active here, and then that pushes east heading into Saturday, and now you set up this area for more storms on Saturday, and again, that's why the Storm Prediction Center is looking here pretty much from the Ohio River south and especially here into the deep south from the Carolinas west all the way to Texas. All right, let's continue to move this ahead in time. And by the way, here's a look at your temperatures as we head into Friday. Clearly north of the front, a lot cooler, but below the front and to the south, we're talking about temperatures in the upper 80s and 90s, very summer-like. Let's go to the east. Some strong storms possible through the evening hours here into parts of Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire. Those will continue through the evening and everything driving off to the east, southeast. Storms also back into parts of uh, western PA, eastern Ohio. Some of these storms could get strong back into this region too. And then we're watching this low pressure move up the coast. That's been bringing some heavy rains into eastern North Carolina. That finally starts to pull away. A bit of a northeasterly breeze. We're cool and damp underneath this. But uh, conditions improving some if you're looking for some warmer temperatures in the Delmarva region. As we head into Friday, our front continues to drive off to the south and east. Storms again. Now, I think you watch out here in the southern New England. It could be a hot spot for some strong to severe storms. Those could impact areas like Albany, all the way over to Springfield, Mass., 
you know, maybe even up into parts of central Vermont, New Hampshire, and then back into central PA and then down into the Tennessee Valley. We'll see more storms heading into Friday afternoon and Friday evening. This area right in here, I think, would be the area to really keep an eye on. And these drive east toward the southern Appalachians into parts of West Virginia, southwest Virginia. It looks like it's coming through during a time of day here where things are much more stable compared to if it were to be in the afternoon and here comes that second complex heading into saturday afternoon saturday evening that drives off to the east and again your frontal boundary laying like this once we get into saturday afternoon things could get hopping right here from southern parts of north carolina all the way to the coast and then back here into south carolina georgia as you're seeing these outflow boundaries uh looks very active for severe weather over the next several days and here's a look at your temperatures heading into friday afternoon again wherever you see the clouds you're going to be a little cooler up around the great lakes temperatures in the 50s especially into the up of michigan where it's definitely cool let's really widen things out so if i didn't talk about your specific area we're going to look at the entire country right now over the next several days we'll take you all the way through the weekend there comes the rain um, we've talked about this here through the plains where we're dry looking pretty nice here across the northern plains seasonably cool temperatures below average and then a little wet here into the northeast now don't let this fool you i think wherever you see all this green it's not going to be a complete washout there'll be breaks in the rain but uh, either way chances for rain in the forecast all the way through the weekend and now the weather pattern starts to shift you've got this trough that's digging in really you've got your upper low here and associated with it you've got your trough swinging like this in the upper levels Underneath this much cooler weather, showery conditions moving into parts of northern Minnesota, down into Wisconsin, and then now you've got a front that's slipping south like this. Temperatures behind our front across the plains, cooling down. We'll see sunshine back here, though. That will help with a strong June sun. Temperatures will re rebound fairly nicely. And then as this front sweeps to the east, showers will be associated with it, and it looks like it tries to stall out sometime around Tuesday. I'm going to change the map here. These are six-hour precipitation totals. It'll take the European out just a little bit further. I want to look at the overall pattern. Your trough still digging here into parts of the Great Lakes. Strong low pressure swinging up near the Hudson Bay. Spinning around that is all the moisture. We do start to see the weather pattern change a little bit as we head toward, I think, Thursday and Friday of next week. You start to see more of a ridge pattern developing here. Does that open the door to something tropical in nature to move either out of the Atlantic or the Caribbean or the Gulf at this point? still way too early i've been talking about this for the last couple of videos the gfs has been the most impressive looking uh model to bring something up out of the caribbean north towards the gulf coast states but this is today's run i just want to show you this yesterday i mean for the last several days we've had a major hurricane strike showing up you can't believe the gfs out guys at the end of its range you just can't but the idea that we get some kind of favorable pattern here, at the very least, for some heavy rain events. I think it's there as we enter summer now, as we move toward the end of the month. All right, thanks to all the OGs. If you've been subscribed for a while, I do appreciate it. If you're brand new, you never stop by. I'm Travis. I used to be a chief meteorologist years ago on TV. I've been out of that business. But uh, once you're a meteorologist, you're always a meteorologist, and you're always a weather geek at heart. Maybe you're like me. I don't know.